It's been a few months since I did my recent pickups video. Since then, I've picked up a few new pieces and thought I'd make a video showing you guys what I've gotten since then. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, moving on to the first pickup, we have the Our Legacy Starfall belt in the off-white color. Uh, so I have a 30 inch waist and all my belts are size 80, which this one is. I was a bit hesitant because I didn't really know the sizing and it was on a on sale, so I wasn't able to kind of return it, but I just pulled the trigger anyways. The different on difference between this and other belts that I have is that it's got such a long tail, which is a look that I do like. Um, it's just that the holes are punched in a very different spot. So I have a 30 inch waist and the, I'm always using on the last hole here and I wouldn't be able to put it on the second one. So there's not really that much room for error. I've worn it, yeah, heaps since then. And you can kind of see it's wearing out or the paint's kind of chipping, which I guess is kind of the look. So it will kind of, um, that paint will kind of fade and, and deteriorate over time. Um, you can see, get a good look at that. Uh, but yeah, one of my favorite uh, things I've been wearing at the moment. So yeah, that's our, our legacy Starfall belt. All right, next pickup we have is from Acne Studios. It is the 1981M denim. Before buying these, I was not able to find any footage or photos of these, so I was kind of going in blind. I ended up picking up these because I tore my Uniqlo ones that I had for so long. But I think that having those for so long was kind of gave me a good perspective of what I wanted for my next pair of jeans. I really like the straight leg and kind of baggy fit. But I wanted, yeah, slightly darker, darker wash, which these are. These have, yeah, some really cool details, which is some slight distressing through the pockets, which, yeah, can't really see through the photos and on the, the back pockets. The 46 size was super similar to my 30 inch waist of the 2021 denim, but the inseam was a fair bit longer, so I ended up having to get them taken up. They did a super good job of that. Yeah, kind of seeing the distressing on the hem, but there's a few inches taken out of the, the hem, so I think they are a 30 size leg now. But yeah, I think these kind of a mixture of my two favorite jeans, being the Uniqlo and the 2021. The leg opening is, yeah, super similar to the 2021, but I just like a bit more room around the thighs, so it's a bit of a straighter fit and less of a flare. So yeah, super cool set of jeans which yeah, I'm super happy with. So yeah, they're the 1981M from Acne Studios. All right, next pickup we have is the Daniel Simmons Box Fit Fleeceback Hoodie in the Ash Gray. So I think this is a piece that I added into my wishlist video a couple months ago. And about four days after I posted that video, I got an email saying that they're coming back into stock. So I was super pleased about that because I was yeah, looking for a hoodie, kind of going into winter, something to lounge around the house in and wear to uni and things like that. As the name suggests, yeah, very boxy hoodie and yeah, very stiff. The first thing that I noticed when I got it out the box, it was so stiff um, and rigid, so not the most comfortable thing, but I think that stiffness and rigidity through the, with the material is, yeah, kind of serves a purpose with the, holding the shape of the hood and around the, the front and the pocket. The, another thing is that the ash grey is yeah, super light. It's almost, when I got it out of the box, it almost looked white, which I don't mind. I kind of got used to the colour, but it does pick up stains and things like that really easy. Like I've, countless times I've had to yeah, throw it through the wash to, to get rid of stains or like a little bit of food because it does show up so easy. So if you kind of wear hoodies for multiple days in a row, um, not, the, not the best colour for it, but yeah. Other than that, yeah, very happy with that pickup. All right, next pickup we have is from Programmer. This is actually sent over to me from them. This is a military style cape made from a wax cotton, so it's actually water and wind repellent. Yeah, super cool shape and a yeah, really unique piece from Programmer, kind of their own take on military wear with the asymmetrical collar and asymmetrical kind of sleeves with the, the raglan sleeves. So, yeah, I don't really see many other brands doing this, so it's a, yeah, such a cool and unique kind of piece. So yeah, thanks, Programmer. All right, next pickup, we have the Our Legacy Full Zip Shrunken Polo in the Houndstooth pattern. This is something that I was looking at for months, trying to find it. It's a 
at the time when I was trying to get a previous season jacket. So it was sold out in a lot of spots and I ended up picking it up off end, which it had come back into the, into stock. So I guess someone had returned theirs or along the lines of that, something like that extra stock. But it's yeah, a lot darker in person and a lot thinner. The box that it came in, I was like, when it arrived at my doorstep, I was, thought there was no way that it fit in there because it was so small, the box. But it's a very, yeah, very thin jacket. I think that's due to there not being any lining and it's, yeah, just a very thin type of material. It is so itchy. There's literally no way I can wear it without like a long sleeve t-shirt just because it, yeah, it just feels terrible to wear. But it's, yeah, it still looks super nice and I, end, I luckily do have a lot of long sleeves so I do wear, end up wearing with that. And it's, yeah, good for layering because it is quite thin. One feature that I do like is the double zip. So you can kind of zip it up to your neck and it kind of, or in warmer months when I was first purchased, I was able to wear it kind of wherever. So yeah, that's the Our Legacy Full Zip Shrunken Polo. <laughs> All right, next pickup is my glasses. If you haven't noticed by now, I have some new glasses. So these are the two dot Celine's. I yeah, just needed a new prescription and yeah, most years I do end up getting a new set of glasses because I have yeah money to spend with private health, which yeah, I'm fortunate for. So yeah, ended up getting these a couple months ago and yeah, really like the, the fit and the style. They're super similar to my old ones, so it doesn't really feel any different, but the lenses obviously make a difference so I can see so much more clearer. But yeah, other than that, the Celine two dot, uh, yeah, optical glasses, I guess you call them. All right, last pickup is the Oakley custom EV radars in all black and matte. These I spend most of my time wearing when I'm actually riding my bike, which is what I do for my, when I'm not at uni or work. Uh, so these almost get used every day. And I do actually find myself wearing them in a casual setting because they are so comfortable and they are quite uh, cool looking glasses. Yeah, nothing super special about these, but I, an older model, um, but yeah, still super popular, especially within the running community, I think as well. So yeah, EV custom radar glasses. All right, that's all my recent pickups. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. I know it's been a few months since my last upload, but I've just been super busy with uni and work. This isn't my top priority, so I'm only able to kind of make videos when I have a bit of spare time, which is kind of now my mid-semester break. But yeah, I've got a bit more time and hopefully can smash out a few few more videos for you guys in the near future so yeah thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next one